Hey, this is Ryan at GoFab CNC, and I'm here with Coulter today, and we're doing a video to go over general maintenance and checkpoints on your GoFab CNC table. This is the list that we're gonna go over today. We're gonna start with drag chain placement. On your wire harness, you're gonna notice that there's plastic that goes up to a point, and then it stops and it's just bare wires. Where that plastic stops needs to be placed at the midpoint of the table. So right here, we need to slide this over towards the front of the table, and then we're gonna secure it in place. We're gonna use a strap, you can use zip ties, anything you want, you just need to hold it so that it doesn't get drug around when the table's moving from the front to the back. And do the same thing with the torch hose on the opposite side. First thing you're gonna check is make sure that you have a washer on the head bolt side of the bearing bolts. And then we're gonna check to make sure that all of the bearings on the Y axis are centered. So we'll start on this side, that one looks good. We'll move over to this other one. Perfect. We'll check over here. This one looks good too. Last one. And this one is off. It's too far towards the outside of the table, so it needs to be moved towards the inside, and we're gonna have to add a washer in order to move it out. So we'll take off the plate, we'll remove the nut, and you may have to add a washer or remove a washer. It doesn't matter, in the end, you just gotta make sure that that bearing is centered. If it's not, when the robot's moving front and back, it'll start to wobble on that bearing and you'll see some jagged cuts. So here we are after we fix it, perfect. So we'll check to make sure that the robot doesn't wobble. This one does. So the first thing we're gonna do is slide all of the bearings up on the Y axis in the slots they sit in so they're all the way up. Then we'll go around and check every one of the bearings and make sure all of them are making solid contact. If one of them is not making contact, lower just that bearing until it is making contact. And then the robot will be solid. We use squeeze clamps all the time. We're gonna use them right now to disengage the side motors on the Y axis. And now we can test its free movement and make sure that it's moving evenly and not getting bound up on anything. Moves perfect. Now we'll go to the X axis. We'll use another squeeze clamp to disengage the motor and remove the pressure. And then we're gonna take these back bearings and loosen them so they drop in those slots. That way we can check and see if the robot is solid and we can see those front bearings are not making good contact. So we'll start by making sure the top is tight and then we'll loosen the bottom bearings just enough that they can slide up and down. We don't want them to wobble though. That's perfect. Just enough to... Now we'll use the tensioner to raise that bearing until it's making good contact with the rail. Once it is, we'll lock it back in place by tightening that bolt, move to the other side and do the same thing. All good, so now we'll move to the back and we'll raise those back bearings back up so they're making contact with the rail and lock them in place. Perfect. Now we'll check movement on the x-axis. Looks like it moves good, it's not getting hung up on anything. We'll make sure that it's solid. We'll pop off the squeeze clamp. Perfect. Now on your pinions, sometimes your pinions can get loose and they'll rock on that flat part of the shaft. You can't test it with your hands because you can't replicate the instantaneous torque that the motors do. So it's best to remove them and put them back on and always tighten the screw on that flat spot first, then tighten the side screw. And confirm when you put them on that those screws are not colliding with the racks and that they don't hit the weld points that hold the racks on. Check the x-axis and then check both sides on the y-axis. On your motor plates, they have a spring that pulls them back up. Push on it and make sure that your motor pops up. It should spring up. If it doesn't, it might be too tight. So loosen the bolt that holds the motor plate on so that it springs back up whenever you push down. And finally, we're gonna go over the connectors that connect your z-axis to your x-axis. Make sure that these connectors are pushed firmly into each other and not kinked and not crooked because they could develop a short and they will burn out a pin and your z-axis will quit working. 